Hey, Justin from Gold Penguin here, and this is the ninth video in our Breakdown to WordPress series on building a website in WordPress. Today, we're gonna to be going over blogs, and blogs are crazy important for both your website, your marketing, your customers, absolutely everything that you do. If you don't have a blog and you have a website, you should be adding a blog. Blogs will increase so much traffic, and not just any blog, but you need to have a blog where you write quality content. I'd say that this is a whole other topic to talk about, but blogs really need to be written well. They need to be content that people want to read. But if you follow this kind of formula and you're genuine and authentic about this over you know, six months, 12 months, two years, you will be growing a blog online that is going to be pulling in users to hopefully increase the traffic and conversions on your website. So if you have a real estate blog, a real estate website, you should be blogging about the real estate market. You should be talking about things in your industry, in the location of where you are, and you will bring in quality people by writing quality blogs. So today we're going to go over and kind of talk about how blogs work in WordPress and how to configure them in Breakdance. I'm going to add some other blog here. The way that if you've ever used WordPress before, you don't have to do anything different. We're not making blogs in Breakdance. We're just making blogs like normal. So you can go and just add a new blog. We're not going to use this. And the way you do it is you just type. You just say, hey, hi, test blog. And then you'll have content goes here. And you just edit everything like normal. Uh, for blogs, you are not editing in Breakdance because, hey, just in case you do want to change your builder one day, the website is not, the blogs are not saved in Breakdance, they're saved in WordPress. All we're using Breakdance for is to display the content that we have in our blogs. So just like that, let's go ahead and get into it. So if we go into settings and go into reading, we will see that we have a post page. And this is a page that you need to make yourself. I just called it blog, which is good. But if we head over into pages, we can see there is a blog page that is set to our post page. By default, Breakdance is going to have a nice little archive over here where we can see archives and then the page. So really nice, boom, just like that. If you click on one of these, you do see your blog. And really, that is the simplest way of doing this, but we're gonna go a little bit more in depth today. But hey, if you like this, go ahead and keep it. You know, everything is working. You have your little comment form over here. You have your content. This would obviously get way bigger if you've got a bunch of stuff, and then you have your title. So if you like that, if you don't need much here, definitely I suggest doing that and you'd be done, but we're gonna go further. If we go into our permalinks, oh, I don't know if that just clicked properly. We go into our settings and permalinks, we can see that we have our structure of the website has our uh, domain and then our sample post name. You can customize this however you want. Some people like to have the date in it. Um, some people just have this do not do plain because you want search engines to say, hey, this is his website about real estate and then the blog post is best housing in XYZ area. So, you know, you really want that to be displayed there. But once you set your permalinks, go ahead and save this and we can hop into our blogs. So. This is going to work the same way we've done some other pages. If we go into the templates of our Breakdance website, we can add a new template and we're not gonna be adding woo, we're not gonna be adding anything in other, but we do have these two uh, blogs. We have single post and we have post archive. We're gonna be making a single post today to kind of reformat what the blog looks like now. So before I do this, I am going to open one of our old posts so we can compare it side by side. This is what it looks like before and we'll head back to this at the end of the video and kind of see what it looks like now. So go ahead and add a new single post. Let's call this, I guess single post is fine. Go ahead and edit this. And we are brought back to this wonderful creation page where we will add a section. And hmm, this is where you really get to decide how you want to format your blog. But if we go to these elements and we scroll down all the way to the bottom, we see dynamic and dynamic has all of your blogging information. So first thing that's important is to add a post title. Um, we can see that we're previewing the test blog here. It's going to say the title. Um, what I like to do is actually add a really cool kind of section at the top. So I'm going to take this section and I'm going to do something cool where I'm going to take the background of it and I'm going to make it an image. And this image, if we go back to this really small kind of obscure menu, click on the data and hit featured in er I believe it's featured image. This should be working. So featured image is going to take whatever the blog image and set that as the background for this post. So I'm gonna go back into this blog and we're going to edit it and show you what that means because we did not add a picture on it yet. But if we do go into, wow, everything just loaded. If we go into featured image, this is on that normal blog page, you can add an image. 
I'm gonna use the same picture that we've been using for a while now. Go ahead and update this, and then you can really do something cool with this. Let's refresh this page. And just like that, we have our blog with the background of our blog in it. This is very hard to see, so we are going to want to add an overlay to it, just like before. We can add a black overlay and then change the opacity to be something like this. Go ahead and change now in the section. We can get rid of background, go into layout, make this centered, and let's change our post title to be white, which will be done in typography. And just like that, we now have our blog title up here. Um, I like to add stuff under the title. I would either add the date that the blog was published or who it was published by. I guess in this example, let's just add the date. I think that that's a bit more uh, universal. Let's see if we see post date over here. I think it'd be post meta. Um, yeah, oops, <laughs> added the wrong thing. There is no date, so it's gonna be post meta. And now we can choose what we wanna do. If we want this kind of bar that says admin, the date, and then comments, which is also just as great, we can keep that here. I, I'm gonna use this for this uh, tutorial because I did not realize how that breakdown lets you add this automatically. So let's go into typography and let's change this text again to be white. And then we also are gonna change these icons to be white as well. Well, we could do it a little bit different than white. We could do a little gray just like that. And so now we have this beautiful representation of the blog up here. Now that this section is done, we can add another one. And this is going to be where our content comes in. If we click on add, scroll all the way back down to this, we can see post content is easily addable. Click on this and our content will go right here. So just like that, we have a better, way better looking blog page. We can add comments to the bottom of this. Um, I use a different plugin for my comments, so it's a bit different, but we could add comments by same thing, going to comments form, comment list. Comment form is gonna let people add a comment to the website, and then comment list is going to display them. So really is up to you how you want to format this. There are no comments right now. We can preview our other blog, and there should be one comment in here just like this. So it might look better to kind of have the comments at the end of the article, or we can make these side by side. A way of doing that would be to add a column. Let's make this column structure 50-50 and go back and take the comment list and comment form, move the comment form into the first one, move the comment list into the second. And so now we see just like this, our comment and then our form right here. We have a bunch of extra space from our post content to the columns. So I'm going to add at the bottom of the content some spacing on our wrapper with a, let's say five rem from the article down. So just like that, we see there is some spacing. It's a bit easier to visualize and like this, once everything loads, boom, really looks awesome. So again, uh, do this as you wish. This section, it looks like the background, something's wrong with this opacity. Um, oh, that might just be a glitch right now, but this should look nice on the front end. So we took this page that was pretty basic and we turned it into this, which looks a lot better in my opinion. It's a bit better formatted and easier on the eye. You can view the page and instantly see the content. So just like that, we now have a working blog page. This is what it looks like on mobile. So still really easy to see. And you can still leave your comment and go along with your day. So hope this was helpful um, creating a blog. And in our next video, I will be explaining how to create a newsletter pop up when you do have users come to your blog, how to make something that's pretty interactive if you want to capture emails and start saving them. So thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video.